Nearly 40 million Americans are impacted by migraine, and depression is almost two times more prevalent, and anxiety is two to five times more prevalent in people with migraine than those without. I'm joined by former co-host of The Doctors, Judy Ho, and chair of the American Migraine Foundation, Dr. Larry Newman, who are gonna help us understand the connection between migraine and mental health. Thanks so much, welcome to the show. Well, one of the most important takeaways from the survey was that mental health and migraine condition are intricately connected. And even though that sounds a little bleak, the good thing actually that comes out of this is that we know if we try to manage one, the other one is also going to benefit. And of course, the best way would be to try to manage both. And the connected factor between both is stress. The good news is that almost everybody with migraine can be helped to some degree. There's been so many, so many newer medications that have just hit the market in the last couple of years. We divide migraine therapies into acute and prevention. So the acute therapies are those agents that are taken at the onset of the headache. Preventive therapies, on the other hand, are things taken either every day or sometimes every month. And the goal of those, you take it whether you have a headache or not, but the goal of those is to decrease the frequency of subsequent headaches by at least 50%. But they can't be used in isolation. They should be used together with non-medical therapies as well. 